afternoon, everybody. Shoot. We're out here in the at the seventh judicial court, in New Mexico. What the heck? Official business. Uh, if you guys have seen the previous videos about this court, uh, Gordon Bennett get caught in a lie, swatting me because I wasn't wearing a mask in my courthouse. Well, they've gone. Judicial order sent state police out to my house to serve me with a judicial order saying that I cannot come to this courthouse. Why? Because you guys redressed your grievances. Because when you saw the stories that I published, some of you weren't happy, and you contacted them. I don't, I don't know how. A lot of you probably called, probably emailing, a lot of that stuff. So it says. As the CEO of the 7th Judicial District Court, Jason Jones, Court Executive Officer, CEO, it has been brought to my attention that court staff are being harassed on your behalf and has impacted court resources. The court has issued an administrative order March 1st, 2023, that if you that you are required, that if you are required to be in court or have official court business, you will check in with the Torrance County Sheriff's Office and be escorted and accompanied pursuant to the administrative order. <clears throat> um, so there you go. <laughs> because because uh, when they say uh, staff are being harassed on your behalf, I've never asked anyone to do anything, but I did make the assumption that uh, what they meant is that a news outlet, whether you like it or not, um, published a story about you acting inappropriately and you got mad that people exercised. You guys understand that the right to uh, petition the government for redress of grievances is a First Amendment right. It is listed in the First Amendment. Exactly what they had just issued this court order for is specifically for you. They issued it against me specifically for you guys exercising your rights. And you better believe I'm going into this courthouse. I'm waiting for a couple of people to show up here. You better fucking believe I'm going into this courthouse. You stupid sons of bitches. Um, I've already got a lawyer on the legal end of stuff. Filing an injunction against the judge and filing a lawsuit against anybody who wants to set foot in this nonsense. Um, never, ever, ever had any intention of... Anyways. Uh, so, I've got a lawyer, Zach Cook, out here in New Mexico that is already working on uh, the legal end of this stuff. Getting a lawsuit filed and... More importantly, an injunction against this judge who made an order uh, restricting my First Amendment rights without any due process. And specifically in retaliation for you guys exercising your rights. There's a uh, contact information in the description if you guys have anything to say. You absolutely positively have a right to petition your government for redress of grievances. That is absolutely positively a First Amendment right of yours. And I would never stop, and I would never ask you guys to stop exercising your rights so that they stop retaliating against me. I would never ask you to do that. (laughs) 
but I've got a meeting with the sheriff here at 4 o'clock, so I'm going to go in there for that. I'm live. Do you mind being on? Not really? Don't want to? Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to stay live. I'm going to go in and at least, because uh, I'm worried about them saying, oh, you can't be here while well, I'm here on official business. I don't mind. It's fine. Okay. I've got body cam going on also. <laughs> Steve is coming up too. He said he'd be here at four, but I just remembered that they close at four and they lock the doors. And yeah, the sheriff's department door is locked. So, so we are going inside. We have official business with the sheriff. He told me that he was unaware <clears throat> that uh, they had even uh, issued this. Thank you. They had the state police do it, and that he's unaware that they even did it. Staff are being harassed on your behalf, and it has impacted court resources. What you mean is I exposed your dirty judge as a journalist, and people exercise their First Amendment right to redress grievances, and you retaliated against that First Amendment right by signing an order saying that I can't be here. <clears throat> Who signed that? Um, court Executive Officer Jason Jones. And the court order is signed by the Honorable Mercedes C. Murphy, which uh, she's located at the Socorro location. They stepped in it deep at this point. Yes, um, I absolutely positively already have a lawyer working on a lawsuit and uh, an injunction against this judge. Sheriff is supposed to meet me here in about two or three minutes. What I'll probably do is leave the live stream. I I'll, ask the I'll ask the sheriff. David Frazee, if he wants to be on live or if he wants to just go in the back and talk. Um, but he asked me to bring him a copy of this order. <laughs> um, so I'm here on official business to bring the sheriff the copy of this judicial order that he was unaware of. If he doesn't want to be on live, then I'll leave you guys outside while I go in his office and talk with him. So I'm going to let him decide if he wants to be on live or not. If he doesn't, I'm just going to leave the live stream out on the counter, talk with him, and then come back and tell people what he said. There's somebody running in here. Oh, it's... I know who it is. Yeah, it is. I was just afraid if we didn't come in before 4, they would lock the doors. Is it... You guys they might. Close it for here? Yeah. The court does, the sheriff's department doesn't, but they never leave this door unlocked. So you can't even get in on this side. You have to go through the court side. I got gotcha. you. Are you waiting for him? Or? No, I was waiting on oh. waiting for you guys, and I'm going to go in, I guess. Um, do, you, do you guys mind being on live? <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to go see. Sure. So we have a few people from the community here. Hey, is uh, Sheriff Frazee here? I have an appointment with him at four. <clears throat> Then we can just meet out here. 
I think I'd prefer that. That's uh, Kathy Reyes, Chief Juan Reyes's wife, right there. and just talk to someone. I'll go back in their office and but I want it to be clear, hey, this is very public. There's nothing <clears throat> gonna record and document. Is that... How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing all right. right. How's it going? Good. How you doing? Hey, you brought the whole plan, didn't you? Yeah. We don't want to miss anything exciting. So here's that court order. Um, I, I have talked to my lawyer about it, and it, it's despicable. <laughs> um, specifically, what it says there is that it has been brought to my attention that the court staff are being harassed on your behalf, which is the reason for the order saying I can't come into the courthouse. Um, what they mean by harassed on my behalf is that after people saw videos of them acting inappropriately, they have exercised their First Amendment right to uh, redress grievances with their government, right? Um, I've never asked anyone to contact them. Of course, I put the information out because people are interested in this. Mm -hmm. And honestly, government needs to know when, uh, yep. government needs to know when the people are pissed off, right? Um, so that's the reason for the order. And so it is absolutely positively direct retaliation for First Amendment rights. Not only that, but it's retaliation against me for other people exercising their First Amendment rights. Um, my, my attorney is working on getting an injunction against the judge, as well as, I don't know if you know, but I actually don't file a lot of lawsuits. I've filed two, ever. Okay. And we're already working on filing a lawsuit on this. Because in order for me to file a lawsuit, you have to intentionally, maliciously try to cause me harm and damage and and not only are they trying to cause me harm and damage but every single person who's following this story they're attempting to to chill that first amendment right um <clears throat> so i know you want to bring it to your lawyer and make sure that you know what you're doing right we are recording so i know i I've, I've never recorded you without me without you knowing without it being in the open um, but I felt that this was I, I something. I expected we, as much. But, but I felt that this was something where we need to be documenting what's going on because this is, I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. It's almost as if this judge hasn't even gone to law school. Um, I, I, I haven't even seen cops attempt this type of blatant retaliation for constitutionally protected rights. So my hope would be that, I mean, obviously you've told me that you don't intend to enforce their mask mandates or any of that, right? Not my intention. And my hope would be that, um, I, like I said earlier, I wouldn't expect you to kick state police out of town because they're arresting drunk drivers. But I genuinely would hope that you would stand up against direct First Amendment retaliation and tell them, no, you are not going to make an arrest here. I'm not sure I have the authority to tell them they can't make an arrest. Sure you do. That's what, and, and and you know what? I know that the, I know this puts you in a tough position, and I didn't. I, I genuinely didn't want to do that, but this man, things are getting tough. Government is out of control, and and unless we've got constitutional sheriffs that will understand that, you do have a right to stand up and say no. So what would you then have me do? Arrest the state police officer? Just tell them to leave. I mean, yeah. I mean, if if it that would be. Superb. <laughs> you say, yeah, that would be. That but, you know, work, huh? here's how it goes. I think that we could both agree, and even any any half competent lawyer could agree that this is absolutely blatantly a violation of the Constitution, which I think that you've sworn an oath to uphold. 
So I would see it as just the same as if um, Brady were. Uh... My lanta, my lanta is in all the glory. <laughs> I I would see it as the same as if Brady came to try to use force to violate my rights. Yes, I would expect you to stand up and say, "Look, no, you're not going to do that. Don't make us use force." You cannot come in and violate people's use force and violence to violate people's constitutional rights. Is this my copy? Uh, yes. One copy. Yep. All right. So I can I can hand it over to the attorney and get some guidance. Yes, absolutely. Yep. I know this is a I know this is a tough situation. Nobody wants to be in this. No. They they could just do the right thing and let us observe public hearings, but they are definitely going to dig their heels in on this, and we can see that. I really don't know how they can do that. Well, that's the thing. If they I've can't never, do, I've never seen anything like this in all the time I've been in law enforcement. That, We're talking four decades. That's just it. They can't do it if the police aren't willing to enforce their their tyrannical will. That's. I mean, we've talked about this before. That's the whole idea of the separation of powers. Is that no matter what they said, unless good men wearing badges, because they usually are good. The good men usually end up enforcing this crap. Unless good men are willing to do nothing. Well, look at our enforcing. damn FBI. Look what we got now. Look right. what happened with Janet Reno when we had the, the situation at Waco. Right. You know, I know what you're saying. Uh, let me get with the lawyer and uh, run this down with him. Okay. And get some direction from those guys. And then we'll take it, like I said, case by case basis. Okay. I, I would expect that in I, this particular case that if somebody comes and tries to arrest me for being in this courthouse, gathering content as a news reporter and, and doing my civic duty. Well, you're violating out. this right now, aren't you? Well, it says for official business. It says I can come for official business as long as I'm escorted by the sheriff's department and you're the sheriff's department. But you didn't get escorted by the sheriff. Oh, no, it says I have to first come to the sheriff's department oh. and then get you to escort me. Okay. So we escorted him. Just <laughs> yeah. Are um, any of you armed? <laughs> Got both of them. <laughs> Why not? I'll be back. <laughs> Probably because of the signs on the door, maybe. <laughs> if you want to take them signs off, I bet we'd all be armed. <laughs> no, I, would, I don't care. I'd... Well, you can be armed in the sheriff's department, just not in the court. How do you get to the sheriff's department without going through the that courthouse? Door right there. It's, it's always locked. locked. You have to bang on there, call here. We'll come out and open it for you. Oh, okay. So we, all right. I've always come through the other end because I can't get in on this end. We'll uh, we'll take it case by case. Let me let me get some direction. Uh, I'll do what I can. I'll just put it like that. Okay, I, I understand. Don't put my foot in the mouth. I, I understand. Yeah, especially you got recording. Yep. I understand that. Turn around. You got me on recording, so I don't want to say yep. something that I cannot back up. Yep. And I've told you before, I have not recorded you without you knowing, without me having something a device up. That's and, and and you know what I know the law and you have the right to do it. Sure, and but I was trying to be respectful of yes. certain boundaries. And when you invite me back to your office, I say no. All right, well, we're just we're going to chat about some things. We we both I mean we both agree that well, some of this I, is it, nonsense. It, it, and in I my opinion, this is a bunch of bull crap. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not trying to record you all the time to, to gotcha. That's not what I'm trying to do. So you it's, and I see more alike than we do disagree. I know. Or unalike. Whatever I know. We're we'll have our differences. We we'll have our differences from time to time, but we I think we both have the same we have the same uh, general uh, principle. Uh, we want the same thing in the end. <laughs> same thing. And I think all of us do. Every one of us is. <laughs> all right, let all right. me uh, let me hang on to this for a little bit and get I'll get back uh, with the lawyer. All right. See what we can find out. All right, great. Good luck to you. All right. Thanks for Let me with me. Appreciate it. Appreciate all you guys coming out. Thank you. Good seeing you. Good seeing you guys. See you. Have a good one. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, maybe we shouldn't say live. <laughs> you know. I mean, I don't know. It's. I, I, I'll tell my audience, I think that the sheriff is in a tough position. Uh, it is very, very difficult to stand up to this type of corruption because they aren't used to doing it. It's something that should have been being done over the last few decades, 
and it hasn't been done. It's just been a thing where police obey everything that they're told, and that's not what they're supposed to do. Their job is to is to uh, be a check and balance on the other branches. I think anybody that's honorable is going to be in a tough spot in government. Yeah. And I really didn't even want to put David Frazee in this tough position. But you know what? I didn't run to be sheriff to uphold the Constitution. He did. True. And I understand it's a tough position, but that's what he ran for. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go out in the parking lot and check out all the vehicles. Oh, I think they all left already. So yeah, like he said, he, he asked technically, aren't you violating that court order right now? <laughs> oh, the county manager is up here. I'm going to go uh, check out their... their uh, you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill the live stream, and uh, I will see you guys next time. This just became a big deal. <clears throat> uh, only lawsuits I've ever filed was for Leon Valley, and uh, when Arizona, when I was arrested in Arizona on a cop watch, I don't just go uh, filing lawsuits left and right on everybody. But this is pretty bad. Um, we'll keep you guys updated.